Hey, and welcome back to the Robbie and Dad Show. He's Robbie. He's Dad. What are we doing today, Robbie? We will be trying different kinds of Mountain Dew. Okay, so this is the order that we decided to review in. It goes from the most common to the hardest to find. Of course, we had a hard time finding Summer, Summer Freeze, Freeze yes. Frostbite. Uh, and a lot of these are Canadian. I think it ends live wire is still found. And then those last four are, are only in the States. Yep. And of course we have two Baja Blast, two Mountain Dews. Perfect. One zero sugar. Yeah. That's right. So a little bit of history about the Mountain Dew, Robbie. We had it in Canada for quite a while and we didn't have it in Quebec. You know how Quebec is always trouble? So we didn't have it in Quebec uh, in the 90s, okay? And then I ended up working in Stratford, which is in Ontario. And then, because Ontario has good stuff, I went to I went over there. First thing I bought was, yeah, it was a whole case, a 24 case of uh, cans of uh, Mountain Dew. Mm -hmm. And uh, and I would drink Mountain Dew over the summer. And then when I came back to Quebec, I bought myself my last case, got to Quebec. And then in 91, it was introduced to Quebec. So it's finally, it's like, oh, it's not special anymore. I do drink it. I love it. I enjoy it uh, tremendously. Um, and I really enjoy the new flavors that it has, the marketing that it has, the the, yeah, the, the labels good. that I have. I mean, it's a beautiful name. Market, the marketing. Totally um, I didn't drink it for a while because it doesn't have a generic brand, although some do. It's like Mountain Mist or something, they call it like that. You know, you get like a cheap Coke, a cheap ginger ale. Because I used to go through this kick where I'd pay a dollar, 99 cents for two liters of, of uh, pop. And I wouldn't buy the Coca-Cola and the Pepsi and because I just didn't think it was worth that much. But you get the generic brand and sometimes they would have this and then so I would get this. So the first up, Robbie, is Mountain Dew. Right? This is the, this is the Canadian, Canadian one. Version. There is a Canadian between, there's a difference between the Canadian and the American, American. one. What is it? Uh, that Canadian has 48 grams of caffeine. That's right. We have laws <laughs> in Canada. We can't, a lot of laws. Like we have different standards for chicken. We have different standards for uh, coloring as well. Yeah, they're they're color. they're probably more strict in Europe. They are. Yeah. Actually. Yes. They're very yeah. strict in Europe. Yeah. But uh, so this is um, this is uh, 48, 48. Uh, millimeters of caffeine per per can. Let's say. Yeah. All right. Here we go. <laughs> I don't think I've had basic Mountain Dew. Well, no, I have, but like. Not. Oh, it's so good. Oh yeah, I just had it <laughs> recently. I That's forgot. delicious. <laughs> That's pretty good. Like I, I love traditional Mountain Dew. I would mm. give that. I would give that an eight point five. Eight. Eight, really? Yeah. Okay. All right. So um, yes, yeah, so that was your first time you ever had. Uh, nope. Costco dogs. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so this is this is probably the first time I've had American Mountain Dew. I don't get Mountain Dew in the States because there's so many other things to try. That's true. So, Chick like, I wouldn't have gotten this. Water burger. It's the same. Why don't they do it? Tastes different. It tastes more like coffee or something. Nope. It tastes exactly the same. That one's sweeter. This one's sweeter? A lot. How did you not get it? That's so sweet. Oh, God. Serious? Yes. Okay, that, that's it. That, that is nine. That is a meat. No, it put five. See, it's sweeter. I'm not wrong. I'm not mm. getting it. I'm not getting it. I'm really not getting it. No, it's sweeter. Okay, you yeah. can tell things I can't, obviously. Yeah. Okay, so, um, what do you have for American? Mm. Same score, 8.5. I'm putting 8.5 for the American one because it's sweet. Now this is just among Mountain Dew because I love Mountain Dew. Like this is a low score for just soft drinks. Mountain Dew uh, against others will probably get a nine, but or uh, 9.5. But all right, since it's all Mountain Dew. Next is something we do have in Canada quite a bit. It's uh, it's taken uh, um, it's probably the number two drink now in in, in Canada and Quebec. Really? I, I think so. Like in, in popularity. Okay, well. And the difference is, is that in Canada we don't have that we don't raspberry. We have that raspberry. It's raspberry. Yeah, here. and it's on the. Yeah. It's like caught yeah. lightning. All right, so this is American uh, voltage. Voltage is like my favorite. Mountain oh, Dew. voltage! Voltage is so good. Voltage to me is like what water should taste like <laughs> if it was sweet. Yeah, I agree. It's good. It's good though. Good. Is there any difference oh from actual? That's so good. 
That does it for me. Why is American Mountain Dew so much sweeter? That's actually sweeter. Than regular Canadian than, vodka? <laughs> yes. okay, come on. I swear. That's okay. sweeter. I, I give that, I'm giving that a nine. I'm giving it a nine. It's solid. Nine, nine point, nine point five. Okay. Next we have Baja Blast. I love oh, the color of Baja Blast. <clears throat> I love the name Baja Blast. Oh, that's a cool name. And um, it's hard to describe what it tastes like. Yeah. It doesn't have a descriptive type of. Yeah. But it, this was a like under, this was a Taco Bell flavor. Yeah, it's Taco Bell. But it's like left Taco it's Bell, and it's come a, a, a it's pro prolific now. You don't have to go to Taco Bell. It used yeah. to be a Taco Bell exclusive, right? Yeah. Yeah, like a. Uh, for oh example, Metamoon. No one knows how to describe Metamoon. Yeah, it's, it's like same the same thing. thing. Yeah. This smells... I don't like Baja Blast. I don't know. Maybe... I don't know. Maybe... That's weird. Better yeah. than regular Baja Blast. <laughs> this is regular Baja Blast. Oh my god, I think I like the Canadian version better. No, wait. That is an American version. The American version is ten times better because it's sweet. This one, yeah? It has yes. a different taste. It has a different taste. Oh my it god. It tastes like honey. Yeah, it does. You're right. Yeah, now, okay. to compare, we should have done oh. Canadian against American. <laughs> like, yeah. yeah, okay, so. What like, do I you can't give believe that? how different that is. What are you it, it's it? still good. Um, I'm giving it 8.5. I'm giving it an 8. Okay. And uh, so now we have Baja Blast, uh, and this is zero sugar. All I'm looking for is for it to taste. Different. Oh, that's awful. Oh, five. The aftertaste five. sucks. Like, so I drank five. it. I was thinking, like, oh, what's so wrong with it? Oh my god, the aftertaste sucks. That was terrible. That, 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 that's, I'm giving that a four. That's absolute crap. Oh well, five is... Okay, give it a 4.5. For you? Yeah, four, just put four point. All right, next. Yeah, because it's a fail. I forgot. In the oh, States, a pass is a five. In Canada, it's a six. Right? It used to be a five. Like, if you get a 60%, you just pass in Canada. 60%. It used to be 50. I don't know if Americans still have that in their education. But... God. Um, this here, Purple Thunder, Blackberry Plum. The thing looks different. Mm. It looks different. But they, maybe they changed the packaging because they this used to American be like... This is American as well. A, different. Purple Thunder. This is American. Oh, it says Boys and Gazoos. Do you know what a Boys and Gazoos is? So it says Boys and Gazoos there. Where? Right there. Oh, it's Boys and Gazoos. That means a soft drink. Oh. In French. Okay, here we go. Okay, so this is American one. I've tried. We've tried Purple Thunder Canadian. So this is good. What is it supposed to be? Blackberry plum. Blackberry plum. Oh my god! I can't that smells how good sweet. That is. That's delicious. Hell no. Nine nine point. Is it better than Voltage? 9.4, 9.4. Okay, so personally... Well, you got right. an aftertaste out of that? Yes. Okay, so the Canadian version's like 20 times better. I mean, no, I disagree. This sucks. This sucks. I disagree. Uh, the American it's version bad, is better for me. It's not bad. I'm giving it a 7. Okay, the next one... 7. I, I don't like the color of this. No, that looks, that's perfect. <laughs> okay, because it's a powder. lemonade. It's yeah. a, I, I don't expect Mountain Dew to be doing lemonades. It's raspberry lemonade. Yeah, it's raspberry lemonade, which is something I really don't like. Um, it's called Spark, Strawberry. and there's uh, there's a raspberry and a lemon mm. on the picture there. Yeah. Um, okay, so this is a Quebec one. Yeah. It says uh, the refund and all that stuff. Okay, here we go. Another it smells thing. awful. <laughs> it says, smells like grapefruit. Another cool thing about Mountain Dew is they have so many like like on each bottle. There's so there's amazing marketing. Like there's like, yeah, the, the, dragons and monsters. Yeah. And stuff like okay, that. Robbie, this here. I taste grapefruit. It smells like lemonade.
four. Four. That's so good. Four. What are you giving it? Um. 7.5. 7.5. That's low for you. No, okay. It's pretty good. This is uh, another popular one oh, in yeah. Canada, and this. Uh, this is my first one. Proudly bottled in Canada, so this is a Canadian one, so I, I know what to expect. This is the that was this the your first, first major melon. No, that was the that was the first, major melon was the first Mountain Dew I've ever tried. Oh, yes. Really? What a weird flavor to start. I know. Off I know. With. It's because I remember uh, once you got it, and then I said, "Can I try it?" It smells like like melon. Okay. Well, that, that's smell cool. that. <laughs> smell that. Smell, smell and taste have a lot to do with each other. You know? Uh, I, I can see where you say melon. Yeah. It tastes just like that smells. This it, smells like a, a one of those uh, watermelon sour patch kids. It smells, it's like the exact same. it smells like a cantaloupe. A honeydew. No. A honeydew. Or is it cantaloupe? Yeah. Mm, that's good. Yeah, it's No, good. it smells like it's one good. of those. Those sour watermelon sour patch kids. That's exactly what it smells like. I'd give this an I'd give this an 8.3. 8.4. Alright, next is citrus punch called pitch black. Oh. I don't know of any citrus that is black. <laughs> right? Yeah. Why like this, why? This. But <laughs> so quick thing, purple thunder and pitch, pitch black. black. Circle K. But we found it at a kush top. Well, Kush Tart is Circle K. That's a, exactly. that's a whole it's other just, episode. It's just a... Uh, yeah, it's the... Because Kush Tart bought to Circle K's. Yeah. Kush Tart has stupid slushies, but... They do. They're terrible. That's yeah, a I whole know. other episode but of how Circle terrible K Kush Tarts are. has frosters. Oh my god, I that smells frosters. so good. Doesn't that smell great? Uh -oh. Okay, here we go, Robbie. Look at those. Wait, it's citrus. Is it sour? Is it sour? Oh, it smells good. This is good. Do you like that? I like this more than the, the lemonade thing. Nope, 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 nope. Instantly disagree. No, 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 no. Lemonade's better. Um, this is delicious. I give the lemonade. Um. My God, I give this a, I give this a nine. Nine? Yeah. Wow. Oh, um. Yeah, this is a nine. Nine. I'm shocked. I don't usually think of pitch black and, and think that I like it. Uh, I'll give this one 7.2. That's that's kind of low for you, yeah. I know. All right, reach over to the bad. next one there. Oh, right? yeah. Okay. okay. This one has a really cool dragon. It does? Look out. Oh, it does, yeah. Now, from now on, cool there's dragon. like cool like birds and stuff like that. Cool. Okay, so the story about Code Red is this came out like in the 90s it was it's really old and it was it was out with mountain dew and it was like the number two with mountain dew and you could get it uh, pretty much everywhere and it was it was fantastic um and the thing about it is because it's cherry right i mean i love cherry i remember um, I, I seen this once like I there's no cherry once. drink that's done by any major player you know no, they have like their strawberry ones and stuff, but cherry's not a thing. Yeah, cherry coke. No, no, no. This is cherry on its own. Oh. Cherry coke is a whole other. Yeah, sure. I've seen this. It smells once like cherry. It smells like maraschino cherries, right? Okay, here goes. <laughs> it's good. I'm wondering if I'm getting like uh, cough syrup out of it. Try it. Mm. I've seen this once in my life. It was at a Dollarama. You like it? Yeah, not bad. Yeah, Code Red is up there for me. 8.3. I'm giving this a 9.2. 9? 9.2. Mm. 9 my favorite soda is orange. Yeah. Also, this one has a cool phoenix, and there's like a uh, oh, yeah. cool writing. It does have yeah, a cool phoenix. phoenix. Right yeah um so live wire sparked with artificial orange flavor i wouldn't have put that on the bottle <laughs> i would have put sparked with orange flavor not orange artificial okay let me like it's too too mouthy okay here we go oh that smells good 
you're gonna love this. That's exactly what it's so what's your crush. favorite, Fanta or oh, crush, crush? Crush is sweeter. Crush, okay, so we're, you're comparing this to Crush. Yeah, exactly, because uh, they changed the ingredients in like 2018, Fanta, to make it healthier. Oh, it's God. not as sweet. All right, here we go. So, crush I think Crush is better. Yeah. This is, is it, better than Fanta. This is good. This is good, though. This is better than Fanta. I agree. My high score is so nine. Good. Let me get them. My high score was a nine on voltage. This is better than voltage. This is 8.3. 8.4, 8.4, because it's better than Spark. All right, bud. Now oh, we're in an uncharted. 8 .9. 8 .9. Really? Yeah, yeah, because you're the orange guy. Okay, Robbie, uncharted territory. Yep. Okay, so that we have. This is totally new to us. Yeah. Buying this in the States and not drinking it was so hard. We yeah. drove all the way to South Carolina. We stopped at North Carolina. We stopped in Virginia overnight. We stopped everywhere. Stopped well, everywhere. New Jersey, Pennsylvania, New York. Virginia, uh, and um, and so we got this on the way somewhere. So this is Baja Passionate. Uh, passion. Baja Punch. Passion Fruit Punch. And Vulture. There's Always the Vulture. Right vulture. That, that's beautiful. Yeah. Very Aztec-y looking. Okay, I don't know what to expect. I mean, it's passion fruit. <laughs> it's gonna be it's, it's gonna be a tropical drink. Aztec. Aztecs, yeah. I love that. It's the people from uh, oh. Mesoamerica. Okay, okay, here we go. <gasps> Smell it. Smell it. That makes me feel like I'm in the Bahamas or something. Oh, that smells good. It's, it's, it's so it's so unique from everything we've got so far. It smells like it, I'm in the Bahamas or something. Yeah. It's hard to grip. Wow. It's weird. It's weird. It, it is strange. I taste coconut. <laughs> I taste coconut. No, I don't like this. I taste coconut. It tastes very. It tastes like coconut. It tastes like it tastes like um, tropical fruits that you don't eat, eat yeah. often, which is a passion fruit. It, oh God, I hate this. it tastes like passion fruit. Oh, I hate <clears> this. My lower score was a four. It's a bit better. Four point two. So bad. I give a four to eight point two. Yeah, Baja Zero. Give it an eight point two. Man. Yeah. All right. <coughs> All right. Next. This is another one of the uh, special train. Can we just say that that was a? Did you say it was Baja? Yeah, because it's a different version of Baja. Yeah, it's a different. Yeah. Yeah, these are different versions of Baja. I mean, they're yeah. They're, I mean, they're all Baja. So this one's yeah. Baja Caribbean Splash. Right, and so for that, it's uh, with a blast of natural and artificial <gasps> guava. On this one, there that's was. That's a nice. Uh, that's a nice. On fruit. this one, there was a frog or a lizard. Somewhere. Yeah. Yeah, it was a frog. Oh, it was a, a frog. frog and a puffer fish. Yeah. Very it's nice. Frogs. Okay, here we go. Oh, that smells so good. Oh. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I like this. I like this. It's not gonna be better than the other. And it smells like a guava. It doesn't smell like a mango. I it smells like a guava. A, I'm not gonna ask that one. Oh, Robbie, it's fruits that you, you, it, they're, they're exotic. We have some. Next time I, we have a chance to try guava, we're gonna make you try guava. Okay, here we go. Oh, man, that's good. Is good? Oh. You want more snacks before? Oh, it, smells, it smells like straight up sugar. It tastes ripe. You see, the thing is with guava is that if it's not ripe, it's not good. But this tastes like a ripe guava. So the taste is very good for like five seconds, and then the aftertaste is just small. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow, this is up there. Um. So. What you giving it? I'm giving it a nine point five. It's tied with voltage. Ooh. Just because they tried it. They, nobody does this. Nobody does this, Robbie. I'm gonna get another try. I, I gotta get another try of this. It's, the aftertaste is disgusting. No, it, it's not. Like, it's because it's ripe. Like, it only tastes good just before it goes bad. 
There's some fruits that are like, like that. I don't like it. Six point two. Okay. Six point six point four. Six point four. For me. Yep. All right. All right oh, okay. This one, this is probably one of the coolest I've been bugs. looking forward to this so much. It has a shark right there. Oh, okay. it looks so cool. So, we had a shark. This is called Frostbite. We had a shark washed up on our beach in front of our condo in Myrtle Beach a week after we left. That, it was a big shark. So, uh, too bad we But this is the only shark we saw. Um, so, this one here says uh, natural and artificial flavored dew. Uh. Doesn't tell it. I don't know what a shark tastes like, but here we go. I don't know what to expect because it looks it's a it's a darker color in color than voltage is. I'm, Here we go. Right. Comparing this to frostbite. I don't, know, Gatorade. I don't know how to. Just, oh, this is like their moon mist. Remember oh, oh, oh. the 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 uh, prime moon. Meta moon. Meta moon. Yeah. That, I was one it, that can describe like. Yeah, exactly. So th this. I'm sure. I don't know what to describe it. What would you describe that as? Uh, wait. Let me understand. I'm comparing this to. It's like a popsicle. Uh, frostbite Gatorade. Blue raspberry. <laughs> yeah, maybe it's just for. Okay, here we go. Let's see. This tastes like. Have you ever tried? Because there's blue Gatorade, there's and then there's frostbite try Gatorade. It. Just try it. What does that taste? <coughs> 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 I don't like it. How does it, what is the taste? Oh, it's good. <laughs> what is it? I don't know. It's like Metamoon, you can't describe it. I'm gonna say it's like, it tastes like blueberry. It's it, it to me it tastes more like blueberry it than like blue raspberry. raspberry than, to me, okay, so this I think it's blue, blue, more blueberry than it's good. I, it is. It is good. It's good. I like it more than the Gatorade version. A lot better. Okay, I'm. What are you giving it? Um, eight point two. You have a nine point two. You have an eight point two. Yep. Okay, last one. Okay, so <laughs> the, the, you know what annoys me. I literally found this the first day, and you thought it was that that was in Canada. But then I showed you, no. and then you figured it out, and then we couldn't find it, and we finally found yeah. it. So like we had to get day. it. We had to get it at a specialty store in Canada. I paid five ninety nine oh. for it. Um, so this is Summer Freeze, and it's a different size bottle. I don't know why. It, it, there's a bit less. Um, summer Freeze with a blast of summer Americana. Oh, so the color of it is is very bubblegum bluish. It's a nicer. It's a clear blue. It, the clear other blue. one, was, no. the frostbite was a little foggy. Yeah, the blue. That just looks like Gatorade blue. <laughs> oh my god! It smells. smells so good. You know what it smells like? Blue Gatorade. <laughs> it smells no. like the popsicle. It really smells like no the popsicle. It smells like it smells blue like raspberry that slushy. popsicle. It smells like a blue raspberry. Slushy. Here we go. It smells just like blue raspberry. Oh my God, uh, so good. It tastes slushy. just like that popsicle. The rocket, they're called. I don't like those popsicles. You don't like those don't popsicles? Like those. But that's good. This is good. It smells exactly like one of those um, blue raspberry slushies. Oh my God, this is so good. This is 9.7. Highest. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. This is. I'm such a kid. Oh my God. <laughs> The kid flavors came out. <laughs> <laughs> All right. My word is more of a kid flavor. Um, All right, let's 9. take a 9.7. You? Uh, I like it. 8.3. All right, so my top three are Baja Caribbean Splash, Voltage, and of course, Summer Freeze. <laughs> the child pink. <laughs> now, out of these two, uh, these were tied at 9.5, so I'm going to try them again. Mm. Baja. Do, do you yeah. like this more? Yeah, this is my new my new favorite, Baja Caribbean Splash. So now I'm gonna try it against Summer, Summer Freeze, Freeze and right. see if this is still my favorite. Right. This is the child. <laughs> 
and I like the Baja better. Even though I give this a higher, wow. this has a more complex taste and it actually tastes like something real. And you know yeah. what the you know what the thing is, is I never have anything guava. I That's the thing, and this really tastes like guava. Like it has a, a really nice flavor that I like, and I don't eat guavas enough. I, I obviously no, I got to start eating better fruits, exotic fruits. So this is my favorite. All right, let's All right. Uh, let's do you. So my favorites, well, I have four. Uh, third is tied for. Yeah, so these two are tied. These two are tied. So the American Mountain Dew is noticeably sweeter. Yeah, so have that. Like, a lot sweeter. Okay, so. Yeah, that's good. Oh, that's really good. To me, it's the same as the other. Just... Oh, Blast is next. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So I had Blast and the American. Yes, you did. Tied. Well, Blast is very good, but this, this one... This one's sweeter. Yeah, this one's sweeter than the American one, uh, than the Canadian. Oh. That's the American Baja. This Baja's better. Is it? The Baja's better. Okay, so Baja's in number three. Baja's number three, this is number four. Okay, so this voltage. Is... Okay, so now, um, I'm gonna do, uh, I'll do uh, voltage. Voltage against live wire. Like to see if we, if your numbers really are. Yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna first see if Baja is worse than this. Yeah, this is better than Baja? Yeah. So Baja is third. See, both. So I love orange, so. Hmm. This. Voltage is in second, that's better. This is number one? This is number one. So you gave this an 8.9. Yep. But voltage is better? No, no. I gave voltage a 9, and I give that 8.9, but this is better. Oh, so this wins for you? This wins. That one. Okay. Great. Orange comes on top, as it always does. So now we're doing the top three agreed on. Agreed so on, yeah. our number three is. Oh, red. Yeah, which I do really like. Too. It depends what order I drink these things in. Sometimes I'll give it a higher because you switched uh some of your flavors. Mm -hmm. That's good. Mm. It's, oh. a bit, it's a bit a bit overly excessively sweet. But... It is the best cherry. It's it is. It's the best cherry drink there is. Okay, I number agree. two was uh this one, right? No. It's voltage. It's voltage is number two. Voltage is number it was number two for me and number two for you. Yeah. See if it's number two overall. Do I like that better than Code Red? Yeah, this is good. Yeah. Number two overall. Yeah. Now let's see if you like Summer Freeze one. <laughs> Summer Freeze. The child one. Yeah. <laughs> Live wire is more child. Voltage child. is very, very. Mm. Mm, voltage is very. Oh, I'm so glad we have voltage in Canada. Because we don't have this. You know what I get out this? It's good. <laughs> Wait. This is literally just prime out of moon. It literally tastes the exact same. Yeah. Me. Okay. This is literally just prime out of moon, but carbonated. All right. So I just want to say. Yep. Um, to wrap it up, we didn't go to Sam's Club to get their exclusive. Uh, we didn't go to Bojangles. They had an exclusive. Uh, Taco Bell's, we have their exclusive anyway. Buffalo Wild Wings, Wings has an exclusive. Yep. Sam's Club has an exclusive. And there's so many other ones um, that are constantly coming out. Li no, what was that called? And lions? What? Those lions. Yes. Food Lion. Food Lion. Thank yeah. You. <clears throat> so we didn't get the exclusive there either. Um, so there's always flavors coming out. And what I really like about it is they're very good at nostalgic flavors. They're very good at exotic flavors. Yeah. They're they're good at everything. They're good at the marketing. They're good at the colors. I mean, who's not good at the colors? That's the easy part. Uh, um, and they're good at the the graphics at the, that. And they're really good, I find, at uh, giving things names. Yeah. Like Code Red. That's the, you know voltage. The, you know Fire voltage point. actually tastes like electricity, like water that's been electrified or something. Um. So yeah, Mountain Dew is like one of the most 
common drinks? Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's it's uh, ubiquitous. It's everywhere, but it's like it's also um, they're always trying new things. Like, yeah. uh, it, like usually you have some software companies that try something new and it's a disaster. Mountain Dew's keeps coming out with great stuff, and um, and it's and it's 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 always good. I find I'm always excited when there's a new flavor, huh. so I always try them. That's it. Yep. That's it for, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Voltage? Okay, voltage is our voltage favorite. Voltage is number one. Voltage is good. Yeah. Yeah. Voltage is number one, and summer then it's summer freeze, freeze and then it's code red. Yep. Yeah. Our wow. Girl. All right. That's it for the Robbie and Dad show. He's Robbie. He's Dad. If you like this video, why don't you check out our Mabang playlist?